Jeffree Star is getting some backlash after he went off on a TikToker who recently visited his store in Wyoming. To give some backstory here, Jeffree had an event at his store in Wyoming and invited a bunch of people to come, a lot of them being TikTok creators that he has gone live with and been friendly to. A mom, Charlie, and her daughter attended the event, and the mom's TikTok is Mrs. Seven Blended. Her husband, who is Seven Blended on TikTok, has gone live with Jeffrey before and even introduced his daughter to Jeffrey while they were streaming, so they've interacted. They were invited to go to Jeffrey's event as VIP, shop around the store, meet Jeffrey, all of that. And while she was at the event, she was on live with someone who also goes live with Jeffrey and a lot of other people who were in attendance, so Charlie was walking around, telling everyone to say hi to her since she couldn't be there with them in person. And well, at some point during this whole event, Jeffrey was on live with Eugenia and basically accused someone of touching him and getting in his personal space and he was very upset. Now, the person he was accusing was Charlie, describing her as drunk and was clearly super annoyed by her. <laughs> I'm on camera. I'm on live, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone is drunk harassing us. They're like, don't tap me like a dog, Miss Thing. <laughs> okay, it's giving human space. <laughs> don't walk up to us like that, girl. You don't get beat. <laughs> Y'all, if you've never met someone before, don't touch them. That's my only, my only rule. If you've never met someone before, do not touch them. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, learn human space. And if you don't know about human space, my Beretta will show you. Okay? And that's all that, Miss Dean. <laughs> After this, the other day on live, Jeffrey was going off about this situation and called out Charlie for her behavior on this trip, and it was intense. I guess Jeffrey was set off because people in the chat were talking about the situation because I guess since this whole trip, the family had kind of talked about something going down. I'm not totally sure, but Jeffrey was definitely set off by this family. Keep my name out your mouth. I'm sick of you fake keyboard gangsters. I was throwing up all day yesterday. I opened up my phone and this stupid mother is running his mouth. Well, you and your drunk wife need to go relax. His wife was in Wyoming, screaming at her daughter, embarrassing herself in the hotel, all because she couldn't go to my Scorpio birthday dinner. And until she apologizes to me, they can both go themselves because I'm not the one an alcoholic bitch. He also was live with some other people later on and the chat was talking about the situation and Jeffrey got really heated talking about it again. Can I ever keep her name out my mouth, bitch? You want me to show the video of your wife in the hotel screaming at your kid? After seeing this, Charlie's husband, Josh, responded to what Jeffrey had to say in a TikTok. He started by saying that he's gone live with Jeffrey before and Jeffrey's even liked a video he made using photos of him and his wife so he should know his wife if he's liking videos of them together so he was confused by Jeffrey saying you don't know me all of this and in addressing the drunk accusations he says that's basically a complete lie. Charlie felt like she wasn't welcomed in the place um so therefore she came out into the car and I said baby won't you just go do some you know, street interviews, and she said, you know what, you're right. So, here's some street interviews. This pops up Scorpio. after, so it was like, oh, well, we have, we have to. to come yeah. back. Are you, do you have the Scorpio? No, no. During those street interviews, there was people that had drinks, and somebody was like, wow, you're, you're amazing. Do you want a drink? She said, of course, and she had a beer. And now Charlie has responded on her own account with videos to back up that she wasn't drunk at this event and she's totally confused how this all went down with Jeffrey. I am completely appalled and confused as to why Jeffrey Star himself has beef with me. <laughs> I'm genuinely so confused. None of this is making any sense. Luckily, I had live footage from that day where you can see my daughter and I were invited VIP to his store, flew over 2,000 miles to be there, purchase things. Um, I was talking about his products. Um, you'll see in a clip, he was talking about how he'll see us later, put his hands on my daughter with a hug. And I just don't understand where he even got that I was drunk. 
She included clips of them meeting Jeffrey and then shared clips from her live that she did when she was there. She was on live with someone who was mutuals with a lot of people at the event. So she threw in clips from that live of when she was going around having everyone say hi to this girl. Hi, 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 babies. Can you kiss? Here's Hillbilly. I don't know. There's Jess. I don't know if you know her. What's up, Jess? How you, how you doing there? We go live together before. We friends on TikTok. This was when Jeffrey was also live and said to his fans that someone touched him and that she was drunk. But she shared a clip from her side of things. Oh, I didn't. Hey, Let's Jeffrey. Go. Jeffrey. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm on camera. I'm on live, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone is drunk harassing us. They're like, Yes, it's here. Are you oh, yeah. Nice, how are you? And she said that she didn't touch him, but after this, her daughter told her that another TikToker there, Shauna, told her to tell her mom that she needed to stop fangirling because people were getting uncomfortable. After the interaction um, of me allowing Jess to say hello to all of her friends, um, I walked away like normal and then my daughter comes up to me and she says, Shauna said, you need to quit fangirling. You're making people uncomfortable. Well, at that point I'm like, what? I was just saying hello. I was invited here VIP in this store. I purchased things. I've talked to a few people. That was my only interactions. So what am what am I supposed to do? Why why am I here then? This was supposed to be like a mother daughter trip to experience like the makeup and how cool is that? The Jeffree Star had allowed us to come into the store VIP. He was just on live with my husband saying he was my husband's homie and we should come out to Wyoming. Well, we did worst decision of my life and she was on live still when her daughter told her this information and you can just tell that she was really sad to hear that people thought that she was fangirling and that she was making people uncomfortable yeah she said that huh she's like chill huh she's like chill down okay i mean i can i don't know i think i'm not I don't know. What? I don't know. I'm going to go. Go where? This whole thing is so weird because she really just seemed very excited to be there. And maybe that was annoying to Jeffrey and some others, but she really just seemed happy about everything and didn't seem to mean any harm, at least not from what I can see in her live. But clearly Jeffrey was big time set off by all of this and didn't like her. Now, I don't know if this then caused something else to happen because when Jeffrey was freaking out on live recently and talking about all of this, he mentioned something happening at the hotel too and that she was upset that she wasn't invited to the launch dinner he was having. And I mean, I don't know what went down there. There isn't videos of that. That wasn't addressed. The yelling at her daughter accusations, like that's just weird. I don't know what context any of that is in. But if Jeffrey did have a dinner later that night after this event to celebrate the launch, of a new collection i could see maybe that he was annoyed by her at the event and so she didn't get invited to the dinner and if everyone else got to go i could see that being really upsetting and cause some drama but i don't know for sure if that's what happened or not but as far as what happened when they were all at the store and jeffrey saying she was drunk there and went up and tapped him it doesn't really seem like it was anything too crazy or dangerous or you know she was wildly drunk she just seemed excited and wanted everyone to just say hi to the girl that she was on live with. Overall, this whole situation made Charlie really sad and she just was really disappointed that this was her interaction with Jeffree Star. To bash a mother of five is insane. To say I'm an alcoholic is insane. These allegations are just mind blowing, mind blowing. And it's really sad, really sad that someone of your status would stoop to this low of lows and try to ruin little old me. I'm just a mama in Alabama, homie. What are you talking about? But I want to know what you guys think about this whole situation as it's such a mess. What do you think about what Jeffrey had to say about her on live and how he reacted to this whole situation? Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, <laughs> oh,